Now we've covered function arity video tutorials before, but I want to give you just a quick primer yet again. Function arity refers to how many arguments does a function have? Now not required, but have, or perceived as having. Dynamic languages are weird, especially JavaScript and Python, and sometimes Lua about how they handle default parameters. I'm gonna create a function called yo, and all it does, yo, it logs out yo. And then we're gonna create another function called dude. And it'll pass in one parameter, which is, uh, I don't know. Oh, there we go, good enough. Log, dude. And we'll interject the uh. When we call these functions, they're either gonna log out or log out the actual parameter you passed. But I wanna show you the arity. We're gonna log out the length of the function itself. So remember, functions can be variables, just like const yo, const a equals one, right? Functions are variables as well. And so we can reference the function itself. So we're gonna print out both yo length and dude length. And what it'll tell us is the arity of the function or how many parameters and arguments does it take. Wrong one, bro, we wanna log off arity. There you go. So yo takes zero or no arguments and dude takes nothing. But you'll notice that if we start defaulting things, for example, to that and we rerun it, that it takes zero. And that's because once you do a default parameter, it'll literally stop counting from everything from here to the right. So if we keep adding arguments, doesn't really care. If you add things in the front, like F and G, it'll say two, right? Because it stops counting basically at this. So just be aware when we say the word arity, it's how many parameters a function takes.